Well, some rural Zimbabwean families are so desperate for food that they're eating army worms to avoid starving as they wait for humanitarian assistance. This is the worst drought in recent memory and has caused widespread famine. In the region, Zimbabwe's famine is second only to Malawi. It's prompted Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe to declare a national state of disaster in the hardest hit uh, areas. But being one of the last countries in the region to call for help could hamper the call for international assistance. With no significant rainfall in two months, the cattle are emaciated and struggling to find pasture. But the human toll of the El Nino-related drought is much worse. Crop failure has increased the number of those needing food aid by 1 million to 2.4 million, according to the government. That's one in five Zimbabweans. The worst drought in over 20 years has forced many families to survive on anything that they can get their hands on. And they say without humanitarian assistance, they face the real possibility of starvation. Nyasha Chitembu and her family of five have come close. Her seven-year-old son Sebastian fainted on his way to school last month. The family had been living on a cup of tea and maize meal and salt every day until last week's patchy rain brought a blessing in disguise. Army worms looking for crops to devour found none. Now they have become the food. She says, Every so often I can find work drawing water for people for a dollar. I buy sugar so the children can drink boiled leaves as tea. When we can't find work, we often spend the day without eating. Since it rained, though, we cook army worms for lunch. We never have maize meal for lunch. We keep that for dinner. Humanitarian agencies have provided food aid but are clearly overwhelmed. She says, the World Food Program was here, but of the 120 families in this area, they chose 20. We didn't qualify. All of our chickens died in the heat wave, and we planted maize last week when the rains arrived, but we doubt we'll be able to harvest anything. Following the declaration of the disaster, the World Food Programme says it can now approach partners for food and cash to scale up assistance. We do have the capacity, uh, as in WFP, but also with all the partners around the table and, and namely also the government, to respond at a, a scale that will allow us to certainly uh, reach a good number of these people. But having said this, the original planning figures have always been at 1.5 million. But I do hope that we can further scale up in March. Other food aid groups will have to supplement its efforts, but there are no guarantees that families like the Chitembus will get assistance. There are many that are considered more vulnerable, including child-headed households, the HIV positive and the elderly. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Mwenezi, South Zimbabwe.